Hi, I am Dr. Sridharan, Senior Consultant Neurologist from Apollo Hospital, Chennai. We have patients with epilepsy who are not controlled with, in spite of taking multiple medication. They are called as medically refractory epilepsy. When you say medically refractory epilepsy, they should be getting at least two seizures a month in spite of at least two different medica- appropriate medications given in the appropriate dosage. So, once a patient is defined as a medically refractory epilepsy, then he has to be investigated to see if he can be helped surgically. And so when a patient with medically refractory epilepsy comes, we first make sure that he has got epilepsy and not misdiagnosed as epilepsy. Often it happens that a so-called patient with epilepsy does not have epilepsy but some other disorder. So it is important to make sure the patient has got epilepsy then you have to find the type of epilepsy and whether the medication given so far has been appropriate to the type of of epilepsy and the patient has received appropriate dosages and he has taken them appropriately. So if uh, all these factors are fulfilled, then we investigate for any surgically remediable cause. So the main investigation is the MRI of the brain and so which may identify some epileptogenic lesions which can be surgically removed like the hippocampal sclerosis or a cortical dysplasia or a hamartoma or, or a small AV malformation. So once and after the MRI the other important investigation is to have a long term video EEG monitoring. In a long term video EEG monitoring we try to capture the seizure the patient has got and the electrical activity in the brain at the time of seizure. So with and with these two investigations we can pinpoint from where the seizure is arising and plan for a surgery if required. Also a psychometric assessment and uh, to see the, which hemisphere is dominant is also important in planning the surgery 